What's going on guys? This is Jeremy with Colorado Gardener Channel. Uh, it has been a long time since uh, I posted anything and I apologize for that. A lot of life got in the way and uh, of course this lovely COVID thing that was happening. So happy to be back and uh, one of the things I wanted to do since uh, it is summertime I wanted to show uh, kind of a garden tour and let you know what we got going on this year and uh, hopefully inspire you guys to uh, get out there in your own backyards and uh, get some ideas for something that you might be able to grow even if it's just one thing uh, it's something that uh, I think that installs a lot of confidence in you once you see the uh, the fruits of your labor so to speak so uh, let's get right to it all right so this year we really did a lot of expansion on what we were doing out in the garden one of the big things I did this year is I built this uh, covered planter right now we got strawberries growing in that strawberries are a great thing to have around the summertime um, really not that hard to grow the uh, only uh, really downside I guess you could say is trying to keep birds away as you can see we kind of built a little screen here so when we do start producing strawberries we could just put that down and the birds will not get to that so moving on here as you can see here we do have some flowers these are Rocky Mountain Columbines but if you look in the corner here you can see that we do have some mint and one thing about mint you definitely I think would probably benefit better from growing them in a container just because if you put them in the ground they're really gonna start to take over uh, as well as cilantro definitely got a bunch of cilantro I am a freak for tacos love them so can't wait to uh, start harvesting that soon. This is Thai basil. Now, if you've ever smelled regular sweet basil, I encourage you to try this out. I mean, this is some really sweet smelling stuff. Very distinct uh, scent to it. Very distinct flavor. Great in a lot of oriental dishes. And moving along here with the corn, guys, have you ever heard of a uh, glass gem corn? So what this is, is when you grow this, the kernels are all different colors. Very rainbowish. sometimes they're bluish and white, sometimes reddish. Very decorative, ornamental, beautiful. And can't wait to uh, harvest some of that and get some, some beautiful kernels out of that. This is our mammoth sunflower. I always like to have the sunflowers around in the garden just because I think it detracts a lot of bugs that are trying to go for these crops and it kind of focuses on the sunflower. They're also gorgeous. My wife is absolutely crazy about sunflowers and these things are going to get pretty tall. I mean they can get up to sometimes 15, 18 feet. Um, so we're hoping for a really beautiful, beautiful sunflower at the end of this. And then we have our snap peas. I really went crazy on snap peas this year, but I uh, definitely don't regret it. I think uh, they're growing very, very, very well. And in here we have cucumbers, which are kind of struggling to get going. I put them out a little early, uh, probably a little too early. Um, as you can see, I actually did direct sow a couple of them after I put them out here just because they were kind of having trouble getting going but I still I still think we're gonna get a, a pretty good harvest out of these so over here we have black seeded Simpson lettuce which is great it's awesome whenever you can go out in your garden and say hey I want a salad well just go out in your garden you can pick it we also have kale out here as well can't wait to try that out and basically here we just got a couple flowers but in these pots that you can see here and I opened them up at the bottom so the roots could extend out that is oregano and what am I using oregano for um, quite simply uh, pizza sauce <laughs> love the idea of our own homemade pizza sauce and over here in the middle bed oh by the way I wanted to let you know a lot of people have asked about these cattle panels great for trellising and very decorative too i love them so down at the sides here these are green beans they are pole these things are supposed to get very long and need a lot of support hence that's why we have the cattle panel 
what we have in the middle here is bok choy. One thing I want to kind of let you know about bok choy, it is very susceptible to these beetles chewing on them. If you can see that, I'm sure you can. Um, one thing we try to do to keep on top of that is we want to put some DE, diatomaceous earth, on there. And it really discourages them from crawling all over that. In the back here, we just got a little onion in a pot, even something simple like that. We have a couple cucumelons, if you can see in the far back, that we're trying to get started. These guys take a while to get going in Colorado. Not sure what that's about, but we're hoping it'll still be fruitful in the end. Over here in the pot, we just have some chives. Chives are the bomb. I love them in omelets. Uh, even salads have that nice oniony flavor to it. A couple more sunflowers as well. And one of the big things we did was we got chickens, guys. We have eight chickens this year. Um, there was a huge run on chicks this year, and I have a feeling it had to do with COVID, which I think people are wanting to be a little more uh, self-sustainable. So that's awesome. We're very much looking forward to... Uh, getting some fresh eggs, which should be in about September-ish. We just moved these guys out here last week. Uh, they're at six weeks old. Pretty warm outside, so they, uh, they're they really flourishing good. So, over here, we have our dill growing. Gotta have dill. Um, if you don't grow anything, except maybe a few plants, guys grow herbs. I guarantee you will not be disappointed by it got some onions in here as well as a couple more chives as well we have another sunflower back here and my pride and joy here which I'm hoping will be awesome this year it's the first time I've ever grown them San Marzano tomatoes now if I zoom in here you can actually see I got some tomatoes that are actually starting to form already which is pretty cool. I am very excited about getting my hands on those and making some pizza sauce, some marinara sauce, even salsa. And over here we got our garlic. Guys, garlic is so easy to plant, okay? Uh, watch a couple videos on them. All you do is pop them in the ground in the fall, wait till springtime, you get these guys. Hard neck garlics also put up what's called a garlic scape. Oh my gosh, put them in stir fry. They are fantastic, okay? Got another basil plant. That's a sweet basil sitting back there. The thing that we planted this year was raspberry bushes. Uh, you can tell these guys are definitely just getting started, but I think over the years, we're gonna get some really, really good raspberries. So we are super excited about that. You plant it once and then all of a sudden, guess what? You get fruit for years and years to come for free. And finally, we got our containers. Container growing is great, guys. If you don't have a lot of room, if you live in an apartment and you have a balcony, get some containers. You can grow on there. So we got our green peppers on this one. And this one, that looks like that's going to be our acorn squash. We got some butternut squash coming in this one. Here is zucchini. Yes, you can grow zucchini easily in a container. And a few extra San Marzano plants, so definitely didn't want to get rid of them, so I used one to plant it. And here's our yellow squash. Love yellow squash. Goes very well with zucchini, obviously. And this is our sweet potato. We're really, really, really hoping we get some good sweet potatoes out of this guy. And finally, we have pie pumpkins. Now, these are a little different than the regular pumpkins that you get in the grocery store. These are the real small ones that actually have that good pumpkin flavor that you can use in pumpkin bread, pumpkin pie, whatever you want. So, if you take a look, guys, really, there's not a huge backyard that we have but we're taking advantage of the room that we do have. And we're trying to make it self-sufficient. The goal is to try to get as much food out of this as we possibly can to uh, have for ourselves and hopefully 
share some with our neighbors as well so quick video guys just wanted to update you on uh, where we're at in the summertime here and look forward to definitely uh, showing the rest of this once it's all full grown and harvest time is upon us in the meantime if you have any questions at all feel free to drop us a line and uh, if you like our channel please subscribe thank you guys so much have a great day